Hello friends, you joined me at Bathurst in a 1966 Ford Mustang, which is probably not the most common com combination I'd say, um, but that's because we're going to be going through Bathurst through the ages and we're starting off with the 1960s in the Ford Mustang. Um, it's a difficult car to drive, obviously the slowest as well. Um, not very quick along the straights because it struggles uphill because it has such long gearing and also very taily through the top of the mountain. But we have this car and then we also have um, going to be having for the 70s a Ford Escort, then a Ford Sierra, so it's, it's lots of Fords because we don't really have much of an option in project cars. Um, uh, for the Ford Sierra for the 80s, Nissan Skyline for the 90s, I think that's the 91 Nissan Skyline, and then there's a bit of a gap for the early 2000s, um, and then we've got the 2012 Ford Falcon FG, which will also be going around. Really the goal of this video is just to show what Bathurst was like in different kinds of cars. Obviously the 60s is very much um, kind of just road cars that they raced around, but yeah, let's just... I'll catch you at the last corner as I go for my flying lap. Righto, we come under what should be the Dunlop Bridge, but it's called the Madness Engine Bridge. Into the final corner now, switching down to second gear over this curb. All out of shape. The lap doesn't actually start just here under the bridge, it starts just up here at the line. And here we go for a lap of Bathurst in a 66 Ford Mustang. Downshift into second. Ugh, catch up the slide as you come out of there, and then it's the long run up to the second corner. It's, um, it takes a while, while to get up here in this car. It's not very rapid, you can have a good look at the scenery. Don't need a lift over here, there's a nice winery just on your, right, your, on your left just here. Down into second, for the second corner. Aim for that inside, oop, yep, I did get the inside curb outside curb as you come up towards the cutting now up into third briefly more just a lift don't really need to break through that corner with this car don't need a lift through here just flat you need to lift through here because it gets all sorts of taily over the cross across the top here up into third down through one of the- oh, that's the wall. It looks a lot more dramatic, but I only just skimmed that wall. <laughs> Lift through here as you come onto Skyline. Outside curve, braking. Down into second. Don't Try not to shift too early, because it gets all out of shape. As you can see, it's very much like trying to drive a boat in a swimming pool. That's what I'd say. Down into second, not into first, or else you get all sorts of sideways. Takes a little while to get going out of that corner, up into third. And obviously in the 60s they didn't have the chase, but we have the chase because we can't just go straight on through here. But here we go, across, up through the top of the mountain, we can see um, there's always a spot just here where someone sets up a really cool camp zone. Anyway, do the first little right hand kink lift. Third and then second. That was actually pretty smooth. I got it really wrong in one of my practice sessions. But I think this is probably going to be around a 240 or so. You can't really push this car, or else you just spin constantly. Up into third, and 2.44, so almost a three minute lap. If you were, uh, I guess, I haven't done too many laps in any of these cars, but a 2 minute 44 for the Mustang. So representing the 70s, we have got a 1971 Ford Escort. This is a, my, one of my favourite little cars to drive. It's good fun, but um, 
it's pretty slow on the straights as well. We don't really get any kind of good speed until about the the 80s, which is coming up after this, obviously. But yeah, I'll join you again at the last corner. Right, oh, here we come, out of the chase and underneath the bridge. Up into fourth gear, this car's only got a four-speed gearbox like the Mustang. But this car is a lot lighter, but it's a lot, uh, it's got a lot less power, so it's, um, it's, it's interesting. Down into second for the first corner. Ooh, a bit too much grass on the inside, but that's okay. This car sounds like it's going really fast up the hill, but it's really not much faster than the Mustang. Uh, yeah, when you switch into fourth gear going up the hill, it doesn't like it that much. But here we come up to the hundred board. Go down into second for that corner just to try and get a bit of extra drive coming out of there. Almost flat through here. Down into second. Little bit of, um, little bit of a slip coming in there. Still flat, straight over that bump. Up into third. You can just get away with lifting a little bit through there. Hold it in third through here, just because it gets slidey like that. Fourth as you come across onto Skyline, inside curb, outside curb. Third, and then just braking because you don't don't want to switch to second too early in this car so you'll have the back end going around you through the dipper coming down to fast elbow now third and then second leave it in second because you get some good drive and momentum out of here up into third and this is when we wave past all the big V8s because we, this is about as fast as we get in this car. 210. I think the top speed is about 220 in this car. We won't quite make it. Yeah. Third and then second. Ooh, very much up on two wheels through there. Second gear across this curb. And the run to the line now should be around about a 2 minute 30 or so, I reckon. 2 minute 34, so about 10 seconds faster than the Mustang. It's an um, uh, interesting car to drive. It's not too difficult. Not as hard as the Mustang, that's for sure. So next up is my favourite car, which is the Ford Sierra. It's my favourite car ever. Like, ever. And we're going to be racing it around here on full boost. Jesus Christ, it's loud. Hopefully we can just survive. There was wheel spin in fourth just then. As we were coming out of the chase. But anyway, up towards the line. I missed shift. Oh, it didn't count that lap. Okay, I guess we're going again. It didn't count my first lap. Lucky I've got enough fuel on board, but this car is absolutely wild. I've got a, more of a hang of it now. Lucky I've got damage off or else my engine would have blown up by now. I'm going to brake just before the 100. Down to third. Wait for the boost. There it is. Down to second for the cutting. Short shift to third. Ooh, back end stepping out again. Brake, tap of the brakes just so we can actually get through here. Oh, 
almost 200 kilometers an hour through there which doesn't it doesn't sound like it but we're going pretty bloody quick through here now down into second for the yeses and then down through the dipper and hope to god it sticks Third to first elbow into second gear. I'm sweating because this car is so difficult to drive. Up into fifth. Can relax a little bit now. Until we get over the top of this hill and I have to take this right hand up. 285 kilometers an hour, I think. Down into second. Hope, yep, just pull it up. Into third. Ooh, kicked it sideways a little bit there. Up into fourth. Down into second. And that's a 221. You could probably go faster if you did a proper setup, but that's. That car is exhausting to drive. It is so difficult <laughs> to just try and keep it straight. So, this is the car that's going to be representing the 90s, and it is the Nissan Skyline, of course. Let me just give you a good look because I'm actually running a very iconic livery, which is the Calsonic livery. This is full. Uh, uh, you, can't, you, get, you get the idea. <laughs> but this is a lot smoother than the Sierra. These two would actually do battle on the mountain as well in the uh, late 80s and early 90s. Um, and then the Nitsan Skyline would come to dominate um, briefly before they switched to the um, V8 um, spec. Uh, so they had to be V8 uh, engines, but this is, should be a really this should be a quick lap. I am assuming it'll be faster than the Sierra just because you can actually keep this car in a straight line. But I'll join you at the last corner to see what happens. Here we come to start our lap into the final corner. Most of the cars have been second gear so far through there. It's not quite a first gear corner, which is a little bit annoying. But anyway, here we go, starting the lap. Up into fourth, briefly, then down to second. Little bit oversteer on exit, but that's okay. We got plenty of time to think about how much we screwed it up along this long straight going up into the second corner. Over the top of the hill now. We'll only just briefly catch fifth before switching down to second. Sticks so well going through that corner, it's unbelievable. Down into second, then to first for the cutting. I have to lift a little bit over that little hump now. Just had to stay quiet through there because it's getting very difficult to clear this top section now. Oh, a big slide all the way across there. Down into third so we can turn in. Then across the top of Skyline, in a Skyline. Down through the S's. Then the Dipper. Shift to first so we can get some good drive. So second. Then to first floor, first elbow. Then mash the throttle as we come out of here. Up through the gears. We'll get to fifth gear before we even get to the hill. So we're making good time. Fly through the chase now. Here we go. Up to 261. Breaking hard down into second gear. Over the top of the curbing. A little bit sideways on exit there, but that's okay. This is still going to be a pretty decent lap. Down into second for the final corner. 
just reached the outside curb. It should be around about a 212. Also, oh, a 28, 220, I meant. But it's a 218, so that's pretty quick. That's four seconds quicker than the Sierra. That's um a lot easier car to drive, but um, now I'm missing a bit of an error. So the next error is like the when we first started the V8 error, and then it goes um, to the early 2000s as well, which we're missing in this game too, unfortunately. Um, but the next car will be the 2012 FG Falcon. So our final car is um, as modern day as Project Cars 2 gets. It's the 2013 Ford Falcon FG. Um, sequential shifting, not H pattern, so I'll be using my little shifters here. Um, my fastest time in this car is a 202.5, I think. Um, which is about four seconds off the record for this circuit and track, but I don't think we'll get anywhere near that I'm sh thinking around like a 2.9 because I haven't driven this car in a while. But yeah, let's see how it goes Here we come underneath the bridge for what will be our fastest lap for sure Breaking hard for the final corner Ooh, All out of shape, but that's okay. We'll still go for it. <laughs> Up to all my, over 200 k's an hour. Down into second for the first corner. Right out to the outside curve using all the road. Very rapid ascent of the hill now. You shouldn't have to lift through here. In eye racing, you do have to lift over the top of this little crest. Crest. Down into third, just not quite getting that inside curve, definitely getting the outside one up into fourth, just hit that white line on the outside, breaking late into the cutting, all over the joint, short shifting to third, out to the metal grate, lift for here so that we can actually get it turned in, up into fourth, then we'll have to lift again down into the here. Right out to the wall, just skimming it. Little tap of the brakes because we were a little bit wide there. Down to third. Then second for the dipper. Time for a bit of a breath before you jump through here. Ooh, a little wide. Up to fourth briefly, then down back to third. Down to second. Right up close to that inside wall. Now, we prepare ourselves for the chase and think about how late can we break? Two hundred and eighty eight ninety two hundred and ninety two towards the chase over the ripple strip. Out onto the outside curve, a little bit taily at the end there. Up at a fifth. Into second gear, right up to the outside curve there. Should come across for about a 209, 207. And that's just about it. That wraps up our video for today. Um, so obviously, it was basically the lap times where the far, the early, sorry, the more modern car the faster it was. I can definitely do a faster lap time than a 207 around this car. Um, has to be better conditions obviously as well and I also have to do about 10 laps or so to get my, myself used to it. But anyway, that's just a little bit comparison. I'm very excited for Bathurst. Um, I've been watching the Bathurst channel basically since it has been released on Sunday night. But yeah, hopefully you all enjoy Bathurst as well and if you weren't aware of some older Bathurst cars, hopefully this has informed you a little bit or um, interested you in researching in some old cars. The 90s is definitely interesting at looking at. There was lots of cool cars in Group... It was called Group C, but not like Group C, the prototypes. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you again later.